Hey guys, welcome to Sassy Sales Ops. I know I haven't uh, posted in a while, uh, but do want to get back into this. I found a cool feature the other day um, that really helped me save a lot of time um, while exporting data out of Salesforce. Um, so at my company, um, we are a, a small startup. We do not have a data backup tool. Um, you know, on hand right now. So we do rely on Salesforce if we ever needed to um, back up or if anything happened. And then we also do data exports on our own manually to make sure that, you know, let's say Salesforce shuts down tomorrow, we do have a backup of all of our records um, that are important to the company um, on the back end should we ever need um, those um, externally. So um, for the process there, um, you know, what I have been doing up to this point is just using a data loader to export each object that we as a company had deemed important to us. Um, you know, again, if Salesforce were to shut down tomorrow, what information and records do we need as a company um, to keep going? So I was doing that one by one, saving them in a reports folder um, and kind of going on my day. But what I did find, so if you click into, um, you know, from any um, app that you're on, go ahead and click into setup. There is a cool data exporting feature here that will save you a ton of time. Um, so if you just come in here and just start typing export or data export, click into data export and you will see this page that pops up. So a couple options here, you are able to export now, which will download um, you know, everything right now for you, or if you're like me and have to do this on a monthly basis, you can schedule your exports to come out as they go. So if I just click on export now so you can see this page, both pages are, are uh, both the same, whether you're setting that up on a recurring refresh um, or if you're just exporting now. You have the ability here to um, include all data, which is every object. Uh, for me, uh, this is not necessary. There are a lot of things that I don't care about. Um, you know, I have never had to load these back in, so it might change my mind if I ever had to get to that point. But um, I would come in here and select uh, contracts and assets um, because we we use both of those. Um, you know, definitely leads, let's say campaigns. I'm going to go in here and find opportunities, accounts, cases, um, really anything that's important to you um, to export. Uh, contacts, obviously. Uh, my SDRs get paid on their events, so I'd probably choose that as well. User information. Um, you can go through and just kind of pick or decide as a company, um, you know, if you do have a compliance committee or anything like that, you know, deeming what is most important to them. Um, and you, let's say Salesforce shuts down tomorrow, you want all your records out of here. Um, so that that's good to me, like for now, just for, for this example, if you choose these, these objects to um, export all their records. So if you just start the export here, um, what happens is, is it sends you an email once you're done um, and you have the ability to download all of these as a zip file. Um, and then my process after that, my company has a, a shared Google Drive where I share that with the compliance team on a monthly basis where we have um, all of those records should we ever need that data. So again, this is just a faster way for you to, instead of going through Data Loader, to download um, all the records and all of the fields uh, individually, you just have the ability to do this all at one time. Again, um, canceling out of this, you also do have the ability to um, schedule this, um, you know, at the frequency that you that you would want, and it would just do it automatically for you. But that's it. Um, if uh, you know this was helpful for you or you enjoyed the session today, go ahead and click like, like or uh, you know even subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm gonna you know start putting more consistent videos on there. Um, this is Sassy Sales Ops, and thank you guys for joining in. Hope this was helpful.